Andrita. Uh, thank you very much. Any any help you need? Well, you know I am here for you. Okay. <laughs> you your ability is is a uh, it's nice. It's a uh, Y, y, y su y su su manera de expresarse parece como americano oh. <laughs> American people <laughs> yeah so. okay. muy Thank bueno you. sí sí muy bien Gracias. hello hello teacher hello Mingo. how are you doing you happy today is your last day of class yes <laughs> we nice are teacher fighting I see that you're excited and that's awesome. Well, yeah, this is the last day of the class, as you already know. And well, congratulations. I, I, most of you did it. I see that the platform is being completed by almost at least 99% of you. So um, we are going to start with today's class. And. Uh, well, um, yesterday you told me that you wanted to practice more with uh, four scenes already and yet. So we're going to continue with that topic. And uh, let me share my screen with you to start the class. It's so slow today. I think it, it's because it's going to rain probably later. Yeah, so we're gonna be patient. It's still loading. I don't know how it's so slow today. But we can continue talking. How was your day? <laughs> well, teacher. Fine. Okay. Joaquin, how was your day? Well, teacher. Excellent. Okay, you have an excellent day at work. That's fine. What about the rest of you? How was your day? More or less, teacher. Not a nice my, teacher. My hair, it, my head is hot. <laughs> All right. Okay. I see that for some of us, it's been. Um, more difficult, but um, tomorrow is Friday, then you're going to rest. Uh, you're going to have a break, at least from English classes. You're going to have that break. <laughs> so you should be happy. And uh, it says you're finishing your pre-intermediate too. So you're uh, a step away from intermediate level. Mm -hmm. You've been doing awesome. Okay, so we're going to continue with the present perfect. I remember that we already practiced the conversation. And um, uh, to be honest, I, I, I think that we did this exercise, right? And we, we, we oh, used yes. the, yes, we used both tenses yesterday. So we stopped here yes. where it says four and since and we have that video on the platform but we already saw that when we were practicing what do you remember about the uses of for and since we saw it in the presentation and the first well like in the second day of class what do you remember about the uses of for instance, for is a is a time expressive, and science is a is a for un con fechas específicas or okay with the specific dates you specify the time mm -hmm. with four. Okay, that is the first difference or the first, the main characteristic on what we use for, we need to mention the, the period of time. That's a good one. And what about scenes? What can you tell about scenes? Uh, 
something that has an origin and, 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 and continue. For example, I know, uh, let's see, Laura thinks I was a teenager and I continue knowing her. Okay. And you, you mentioned the period where this started, right? Yes. Okay, and it continues into the present. Okay, yes, that's um, the difference between uh, those two um, prepositions, right? So we are going to watch the video. Let me share my screen with you to see if it's... Yes. It is taking forever, so we're going to be uh patient at saints paciencia de santos niños ahora por favor okay here we have the platform can you see my screen yes yes awesome yes. so four and since now watch it Hello, in this session, the use of for and since will be explained. Note the expressions. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time. For six years. For a week. For a month. For hours. For two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with for. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Okay, so I think that um, this is like very simple and you already know the difference on when do we use for, when do we use since. So we're going to move and continue with the presentation to practice this topic. Uh, okay, that's gonna take like a while. But I remember I click on share. Oh, and that's it. Important. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes, Computer. Okay. Yeah. Well, we have a couple of examples here. Is it, um, uh, I'm sorry. I, I know that there is background noise. Oh, I know. Okay. Foreign scenes. Uh, and we have a couple of examples here. Uh, we have the question, how long did you live in Thailand? We have, in this uh, example, we have the answer, I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. And we have four, and after that, we have the, the period of time. Uh, we specify the period of time. Then we have another example. How long have you lived in Miami? Right? I've lived here for six months. So we have uh, the four, and then we have a specific period of time. We lived here since last year. So um, 
meaning that it continues in the present, right? And we we are not like mentioning um, like very 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 specific. Um, okay, I discover how to move this quickly. Right, expressions with four. We have for two weeks, for a few months, for several years, for a long time. Yes, Roberto. Well, that's me wonderful. It's um maravilloso. <laughs> Lo veo con cara de confusión, no sé si me logro... Ah, es que sí, probablemente mi señal está mala. Wonderful es maravilloso. I'm sorry, I'm going to write it. Ah, ok, hoy sí lo entiendo. Ya, ok. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, but this... Eh, me, I, I was happy because I said, okay, this is the last week, the last day of class and we're going to have a break, but the internet, this is true enough. <laughs> Miss, yeah? your computer needs uh, exorc exorcism again. <laughs> yes. Uh, right, so expressions with sins, with sins, 45, since last weekend, since 1997, since elementary school. Those are like sample expressions with um, with this word, with foreign sins. Um, okay, now, how would you complete these sentences with foreign sins? Let's do this exercise. I'm going to give you time. And um, just remember, just write the number. And the answer that you would give. And then we're going to check. For example, number one, let us do it together. Sam was in Central America a month last year. It's going to be four or since? What do you think? Four. 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 Four, four. four and more. Okay, so you would write number one, four. You're going to do the same with the rest of the sentences. I'll give you maybe two minutes. ¿Qué haces con la calculadora? Que te... Me la vas a arruinar y te voy a castigar con juguete. Okay, time's over. And number two, Stephanie. I've been a colleague student for almost four years. 
For almost four years. Okay, good. Number three, select someone for number three. Stephanie, please. Um, let me see. Marjorie Vanessa. Okay. Okay. Um, Hiroshi has been at work since 6 p.m. Okay. Very good. Select someone for number four. Um, Joanna, Selena. Okay, number four. Um, I haven't gone to a party for a long time. Okay, select someone for number five. Um, four. Paul? 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 Select someone to continue with number six. Mm, Oscar. Oscar. Okay, thank you. Uh, number six, number six. My parents have been on vacation since Monday. Excellent. Yes, sir. Yes, y por qué lo duda que dijimos ayer, seguros. <laughs> Excellent. Oscar, select someone for number seven. Okay, uh, let me see. Okay. Let me see. Me? Uh, Maria, Maria Susana. Maria Okay. Maria Number... Susana, yeah, okay. the, the flowers. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, Number seven. Natalie was. Number seven. Engaged. Yes. Uh, Natalie was engaged to Danny for six months. Okay, good. Select someone for the last one. Okay, uh, Joaquin. Me, teacher. Okay. Okay, pa okay. Pat and Valerie. Valerie and Valeria have been best friends since high school. Since high school, very good. Oh my God. Oh, it doesn't want to move now. Okay, uh, here in this, you can check your answers. <laughs> this, is, this one gets crazy. Here you can see number one. Or, as we said at the beginning, number two, it's four. Number three, thin. Number four, four. Number five, four. Number six, thin. Number seven, four. And number eight, thin. Okay. That's nice. Teacher. I have one. Okay, that's engaged. 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 Okay, you're welcome. What is the meaning? It means engaged. Eh, comprometido or comprometida. Engaged. Thank you. Teacher. 
may I? Yes. Okay. Um, as I suppose that uh, there were that were going to be enough uh, sentences, I I made two Very using good. six and using four. That's and, great. Okay. One of them is I have been in an English course sponsored by Insafor since March 2021. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. And the other one is Joshua has studied his career for five years. Excellent. Awesome. So I see that you have been um, a very, very good use of foreign things. So yeah. we're going to continue with something a little bit. Um, and well, this is related to, to pronunciation, right? It's yeah. linked. Sound. Okay. This is just a pronunciation practice to see how do, do we put the sounds together. Sometimes we, we don't read every single word with them. Sometimes we link those words uh, to sound like a fluent or more natural. So this kind of exercise and repetition can help us a lot. Let's see. Oh, wow, this was really fast. But I don't know if, I'm not sure if you're on screen. Okay, there you are. Now I can see you. Okay. This is the last video from this section. But it's, okay, there we go. It didn't move. Okay, if, the, if this doesn't work, I'm going to try a different thing. That's not moving. Okay. Uh, it's not responding, so we're going to. Okay, here it is, finally. Let's see. Okay, this is taking so long. I want to try with the other thing. Let's see, give me one second. I don't remember what number of page was it. I think it was 70. I think it's... Um... Okay, now I'm ready. Let's see if this is after. I just want you to listen, not me. I want you to listen the recording and I have it here. This is what you were going to listen there. Now we can do it here. Porque el video no, no va a despegar ahora. <laughs> okay, this is the exercise for linked sound. Okay. So we're going to listen, pay attention, and then we're going to practice. Notice how the sounds are put together in these parts. Page 67, exercise six, pronunciation, linked sounds. Part A, listen and practice. Notice how final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Okay, 
So let's listen again, or you want to practice it. Listen again, please, miss. <laughs> yeah, I know it's very, they pronounce it really fast. We're going to listen again. Page 67, exercise 6, pronunciation, linked sounds. Part A, listen and practice. Notice how final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. I'm going to play it again, and you can repeat at home. It is not necessary to, um, to unmute. You can do it uh, while you are in mute. Just repeat, uh, because um, Vamos a hacer así porque el internet está fallando mucho, entonces unos se van a oír más adelante, otros más atrás y se van. So you can pronounce at home. I'm going to pause and you can repeat. Page 67, exercise 6, pronunciation, linked sounds, part A, listen and practice. Notice how final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, yeah, already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Okay, do you want to practice again? Yes. Okay, let's do it one more time. 67, exercise 6, pronunciation, linked sounds, part A, listen and practice. Notice how final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Page 67, exercise 6. A. Final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Okay, so um, it's just, well, we can go ahead and do this exercise about ask and answer the questions using it in your responses and pay attention to the linked sounds. Okay, uh, for example, if I ask, Have you ever cut your hair? So you would answer using it instead of hair, hey, right? Yes, I I cut it in last month, right? I, um, so you use it uh, to link the sound. Yes, I cut it last month. Uh, is that clear? Yes, madam. Yes. Okay, so, let's practice the pronunciation for the questions and then let me know if there is a something or a new word there. Let's repeat. Have you ever cut your hair? Have you ever cut your Have hair? Have you ever cut your hair? Have you ever tasted blue cheese? Have you ever, you ever, you ever tasted blue, blue cheese? cheese? Have you ever tried Korean food? Have you ever lost your ID? Have you ever lost your ID? Have you ever lost your ID? Have you ever looked at Unit 11 yet? Have you, Have you looked at Unit 11 yet? Any question? Yes, I, I have a question. Uh, the word it, ¿cuál es la función del it? Eh, en, en estas respuestas 
se referirá al sujeto. Por ejemplo, aquí le pone, le pregunta si ya cocinó el almuerzo. Entonces, uh -huh. en la respuesta no vuelve a mencionar almuerzo, sino que el it se refiere a ello, al almuerzo. Aquí el it se está refiriendo a la comida cubana. Uh -huh. e igual aquí, ¿verdad? Si usted me pregunta, eh, ¿te has cortado el cabello? o ¿Alguna vez te has cortado el cabello? Yes, I cut last month. El it me está refiriendo al, al cabello, ¿verdad? Para no repetir la palabra cabello y así practicamos linking the sound. Ok, any other question? En ese caso puedo decir yes, I, yes, yes, como, como para afirmar que si no la cortado, ¿sí? por ejemplo, have you ever cut your head? Yes, I cut it. Yes, I cut it. Uh -huh. cut. ¿Sí? Yes, I cut it uh, last year. Uh, yes, I cut it um, two months ago, etc. Ah, oh, ok. Porque si yo contesto, yes, I cut my hair last month. It's the same, sure. but I'm repeating the word and I'm not using the word it in order to practice linking the sound. Cut it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cut it. Mm. Y si me lo acabo de cortar, ahorita un ejemplo. I just cut it. Solo yes, I cut right now. Uh, yes, I cut it or yes, I cut it recently. Puede usar la palabra recently o puede usar la palabra just. Yes, I just cut it a ah, few. Ajá. Ah. Uh -huh. Pero no, pero no puedo contestar de la siguiente manera. Have you cut long yet? Yes, it is. No puedo contestar eso. Acuérdense sí que el is es cero estar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. en, sí. Ok. Is, be, is. Yes, I do. Teacher. Mm, el do es para presente simple. Estamos en presente perfecto. Okay. Sí, y la clave es que si la pregunta es con have, puede contestar con have. Cuando la pregunta es con do, contestamos con do. Si no, estamos mezclando tiempos. Dígame, sure. Joaquín. The pronunciation T or D is at the final of verb in past, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Is the regular bear, is only regular bear or? or, or With the regular verbs, uh -huh. Okay. Acuérdense que los regular verbs, hay algunos que la, la, el ending is in, in this sound and the other is the. Yeah. Okay. Entonces el sonido, el cooked, uh, cooked, el tried, tried. Y vamos a unirlo con el it. En este caso casi no se nota porque este es, eh, termina en t sound. Cooked. Y no puedo decir cooked it. So, cook it, right? Se une. Y entonces tried it. Tried it. Tried it. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank you very much, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. No sé si todavía tendrán por ahí el cartelito de las tres pronunciaciones del simple past. Y a eso refiere ese sonidito. Que, eh, y sí, tiene que ver con si los verbos son regulares. Es un, un muy buen catch el de Joaquín ahorita. ¿Any other question? Yes, teacher. But that's ¿Sí? the mean try. Es el pasado de, de try. Exacto. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Quiero ver qué tan rápido se mueve esto porque la pasado simple de la unidad 5, creo. Ahí vimos los sonidos y les mandé un cartel. Ya mañana le puede hacer otro exorcismo. ¿Cómo? 
Ay, es que mutense porque ya no mañana, sé si me están que no, hablando. Que tenemos clase, puede ser. ¿Hola? Ya mañana le puede hacer otro exorcismo, ya que no tenemos clase. Sí, fíjense que sí, ¿verdad? Que se acuerda que el último, también los últimos días me tocó hacer el exorcismo. Porque la última clase siempre se me pone así, es como que por, por arruinarme. El, ay, no, no, no sé. Bueno, Algo tiene contra usted. <risa> Sí, yo creo que es porque como los videos los borro hasta que ya terminó por si me dicen, mire, le faltó tal video, entonces tengo los videos de todo y son, son dos, son la, la clase de ustedes y la que va después, entonces se pone pesado. No, creo que no es en este, es en el otro libro. Bueno, se la voy a mandar igual las, las tres pronunciaciones en pasado, pero sí tiene que ver con eso, o, o mejor le voy a escribir aquí. Ok, here is where we were. So remember that there are tres pronunciaciones, las que terminan en T, D, y cuál era la otra pronunciación en simple past. Id. Id. Ajá. Pas, did it. Id. Study, study. Invited. Ajá, mm -hmm. so that is um, this topic related to. Um, ay, Dios, qué dolor de cabeza en serio. Ajá. Okay, let's be patient. I'm going to try to stay just with the presentation because it is taking too long to move from one screen or one tool to another one. Now, can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't want to move now. Okay. Uh, we were here trying to practice it, but we have these other questions. Can you see them? Yes. yes. Okay, we also have these ones, and the, you can practice with this one as well. Um, let's repeat, and then you tell me if you find any new word here. Let's repeat. Have you ever stayed awake for more than 24 hours? Have you ever stayed, stayed awake, awake for more, more than, than three hours? Three hours? hours? Have you seen a ghost? Have you seen, seen a ghost? ghost? No, Have you I'm ever scared. met a famous person? Have, Have you, you ever, ever met, met a famous, famous person? person? Yeah. Have you ever seen in the ocean? Have you ever seen in the ocean? Have you ever had a stomachache? Have you, ever ever had had stomach have you ever gotten an A plus on a test? Have you ever gotten an A plus on a test? Have you ever failed a test? Have you ever failed a test? Have you ever bought something very expensive? Have you ever bought something very expensive? Have you ever cried during a sad movie? Have you ever fallen asleep during a boring movie? Have you ever fallen asleep during a boring movie? Have you ever made a snowman? Have you ever been on TV? Have you ever been lost? Have you ever, you ever been lost? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we can practice speaking <laughs> with this pens um, using um, breakup rooms. But before that, I'd like to know if you have any question about this or vocabulary. Awake? Awake, despierto, levantado. Despierto, ajá, viene del wake up. Okay. 
And what is the pronunciation? Ocean. 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 Okay. Ocean. Ocean. O. Ocean. Ocean. Yes, ocean. Ocean. Thank you, Miss. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of fab? Of? What is the meaning of the word fab? Sad, S A D, sad. Yeah. Triste. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Teach, teacher, what is the meaning? Gosh. Gosh. Fantasma. In the second one, yes, fantasma. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. In asleep. Asleep, dormido yes. o dormida. What is the Did difference you? between asleep and asleep? Eh, teacher. Eso va fall asleep es cuando eh, como caer dormido de repente. That's the difference. Okay. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y asleep eh, que no es como de, desvelado. No. 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 That uh, is sleepless. Sleepless. Ah, mm -hmm. Okay. The word fall asleep is ya quedarse dormido. Like, for example, I can say I go to bed at 11, but I fall asleep at midnight. Ah. Ya yeah, me duermo, o sea, ahí me desconecto, ¿verdad? Me apago, cae, es fall asleep. Y es así, fall asleep. Y como dice somnoliento, ahí es a sleepy, ¿ya? Yeah? Sleepy. Sleep. Yeah, it's different. Okay, Ay, miren, me moví para el chat y moví todo. So, lo voy a mover a los breakout rooms para que practiquen estas eh, preguntas, right? Okay. Do you have them? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Uh, um, all right. Now I'm going to create a breakout room so you can practice this in groups and you already have them in the presentation also. Those questions. Really? Oh, this is so slow. When we finish, I'm going to check attendance. Remind me, please. Okay. Okay, here we go.
you finish really quick? <laughs> Teacher, the attendant list. Oh, yeah, right away. Thank you so much for reminding me. Uh, we're going to just wait for the rest to join the section and then we're going to check attendance. The last exercise that I included in the, it was just for speaking practice. How was it? How do you feel? Good. Very Are you good. going to continue waiting while you get in the other course? Facilista, teacher. Okay, I see that most of you are here. I'm going to load the file and I'm hopefully going to finish at nine. <laughs> Checking attendance as fast as this computer is now. I'm sorry. Usted va a tener el próximo curso. I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. I have to. <laughs> the foggiest idea. No nos han dicho nada, absolutamente nada. Sería bueno, teacher, porque usted nos ha dado seguimiento. Sí, I think so. Sería lo mejor. <laughs> sí. I haven't got it. You haven't? I'm sorry. No lo sé. Oh, like I can see. Oh, uh, yeah. I hope so, but I don't know, really. Vamos a solicitarla a usted. Queremos a la ticha, por favor. Pues yo no sé qué es lo que hicieron, porque... Vamos a hacer una pregunta. <ríe> sí, yo no sé qué hicieron, la verdad, porque ¿cuánto llevo ya con ustedes? Dos. Dos, ¿verdad? Tres, para mí tres. Pero por la... Ah, en serio. Ajá, para algunos ya llevo tres que seguidos, que es como... No, nunca me había pasado, llevo como dos años creo que dos años así en línea y siempre me cambian cada mes pero ahora pues por alguna razón me dejaron con con ustedes así it's not usual ellos no hacen eso usualmente nos nos rotan bien seguido pues, quizás de todos los teachers que he tenido Creo que me ha gustado más su clase porque algunos solo han pasado los videos y usted manda diapositivas. Uh, uh, <ríe> sí, es más fácil irse solo con la plataforma. <ríe> I know, it's a, I, I don't know. No sé, me gusta más este ponerle algo diferente, más explicado, más ejercicios y que sea un poquito variado. <ríe> Trato. Sure. Okay. 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 I appreciate that very much. Thank you. I hope that. Muchas gracias. Sí, de hecho, seguir. yo me iba a desertar en, en, el, en el segundo porque me dio un hombre y no, no me gustó la clase que la, como la dio. Ay, oh, sorry to hear that. Cuando les pase eso, no se desanimen, tengan paciencia, no rotan seguido. Entonces, ustedes dicen, ya va a pasar. No, y no, no todos los hombres son así. <risa> Ay, bueno, maestro. Ahí salió este. No, yo me imagino que Oscar es buen maestro. Defensa, defensa. <risa> Ay, sí. Sí. Habemos, no. habemos maestros con, con uh, le decimos con, bueno, perdón, yo sé que el tiempo está corriendo y va a pasar la, 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 la lista. Mejor lo dejo para después, perdón. Ok, Adrián. I'm here, teacher. Ana Yancy. Ana Yancy. Ay, Dios, no veo la, la listita. Ana Yancy está o no, no está. Creo que la sacó de su algún un mensaje puso. Pero, pero sí estuvo, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Sí, estuvo eh, en mi grupo. 
Dios santo, se me trabó toda esta cosa. Me sacó. No, qué horrible. Bueno, ok. Ah, Cándida. Cecilia. I'm here. Claudia, Patricia. I am here, teacher. Diego Arturo. Present, teacher. Evelyn Elizabeth. Present. Evelyn Liliana. I'm here. Evelyn Mariela. Present. Uh, Ismael Eliseo. Present. Jerry Alejandro. Present, teacher. Joana Celina. Thank you. Joaquín. Here I am, teacher. Jonathan Isaac. Jorge Alberto. I present. José Manuel. José Manuel. Present. Teacher. Okay. present. Judith del Carmen. Present. Liliana Margarita. Present teacher. María Susena. Present. Marjorie Vanessa. Present teacher. Nelida Rebeca. Present. Natalie Imperatriz. Natalie Imperatriz. No está, no la miran por ahí. Creo que no. Oscar. Presente. Present. Arely. Here. Roberto Adonai. Present. Roberto Carlos. I'm here. Rómulo. Here, teacher. Ok. Sandra Araceli. Here I am, teacher. Stephanie Roxana. Present. And Jessica Arely. Present, Miss. Ok, excellent. So we finished checking attendance. Y, y sí, yo creo que Oscar es de los maestros que ya solo con la voz lo mantienen despierto a uno, se ve bien chispa. Sí, eso iba a decir, gracias, que de repente no, esto, algunos lo hacen por, por, porque es un ingreso, pero otros lo hacemos porque ya lo traemos en el ADN, entonces eh, pues hay que ser de repente muy paciente, no todos aprendemos de la misma manera, hay personas que aprenden muy rápido, que les gusta, estaba viendo el caso de Jessica Jiménez, muy bien, le, se le da muy bien. Judith de repente también ahí tiene bastante. Y hay varias personas que, 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 que se les da y aprende muy rápido. Son muy... Pero hay otras personas que aprendemos un poquitito más lento. Pero eso es algo que se trae como de vocación. Así es que no se, no se desespere eh, la compañera que, que comentó. Hay buenos docentes, hay regulares docentes. Y eso depende de lo que se trae como vocación. Así que eh, mis felicitaciones, teacher. Eh, Felicidades a todos ustedes. Thank you, teacher. Gracias. No teacher. se vayan a desanimar. Yo espero con el corazón seguir con ustedes porque pues incluso el trabajo es más fácil para uno cuando ya los conoce, ¿verdad? Ya los identifica. Incluso de repente alguien dice, ah, no, pero fulano, yo ya lo vi, ya me puedo el nombre, quizás se desconectó y uno dice, pero estuvo, lo pongo presente. Y todo se facilita, ya los conozco más o menos qué es lo que les funciona y qué no, pero en el caso que no sea ese, no se vayan a desanimar, tal vez los eh, pasa rápido, ¿verdad? O tal vez les taca a alguien que ustedes dicen, no, hombre, si estamos bien allá, pero hoy estamos mejor, puede suceder también. <risa> Entonces, dense el chance. Si nos toca juntos, pues yo encantadísima, seré feliz y si no, pues no se vayan a desanimar, los veo en la graduación. <risa> Oh, okay. <risa> Gracias a ustedes, felicidades y acuérdense que la deadline para la plataforma, ¿verdad? Ahora medianoche, así que si tienen alguien algo pendiente ahí, traten de solucionar para que no vayan a tener inconvenientes, ¿verdad? Y los veo por ahí. Okay. Sí. Sí. Bye, bye, so bye, 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 Elizabeth. Bye, bye, Evelyn. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye. Good night. Bye. 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 bye.